بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ یو آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ انجوائنگ یور عید ہالیڈیز ویلکم بیک آفٹر دا عید ہالیڈیز اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آور سائنس اگین ٹوڈے آور ٹاپک آف دا ڈے از ہو ایور از کائنڈ Allah will be kind to him. Therefore, be kind to man on the earth. He who is in the heaven will show mercy on you. This is the saying of our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We can define kindness as the quality of being friendly and generous. The other words that are associated with kindness may be affection, gentleness, concern, and care. Kindness is not just a matter of the heart. Our Prophet said, kindness is a mark of faith, and whoever is not kind has no faith. Survival of humanity is also depend on the human kindness so dear student if you will be kind to other allah pak will be kind to you and you will be favorite of allah so try to be kind to everyone today we are going to start our lesson that is about melting and freezing this lesson is uh, on the page number 20 of your book we have discussed this lesson uh, this topic uh, before in the previous lesson but that was uh, not in detail today we are going to discuss this topic in detail first we are going to see that what is melting melting means to change a substance from a solid to a liquid state by heating it to the melting point different substances melt at different temperatures water melts at 0 degrees celsius or 32 fahrenheit means melting is the change of a substance from a solid to a liquid when any substance change from solid state to a liquid state that process is known as melting and what is freezing to freeze means to change a substance from a liquid to a solid state by cooling it to the freezing point it means that when some liquid change its states into solid that process is known as freezing here we uh, learn a word that is freezing point or melting point let's see that what are freezing and melting point melting point mean that it is the temperature at which a solid become a liquid means the temperature at which some solid changes into liquid that particular temperature is known as the melting point of that thing for example if you take the example of water or uh, sorry if you take the example of snow when snow changes into water or you can say when snow changes into rain that temperature at which this happens is actually the melting point of snow and what is freezing point freezing point is a temperature 
at which a liquid becomes a solid means when some liquid changes its state into solid that temperature is known as its freezing point for example if we put uh, water in the freezer and when this water becomes solid that temperature at which that water becomes solid or that water become uh, change into the ice that temperature is known as the freezing point of the water or you can take the example of water when the rain water uh, changes into snow through the cooling of any uh, area so that particular temperature is known as the freezing point of that liquid rain water let's take the example of candle wax if you light a candle the solid wax soon melts and becomes a liquid look at this picture when we light up a candle the solid wax becomes liquid and that liquid wax is actually the liquid form of the solid wax if you blow out the candle flame the liquid wax quickly cools and becomes a solid again look at this picture in this picture you can see that the liquid wax that is coming from or that is changing into the uh, uh, solid wax into the liquid wax that liquid wax is again becoming the solid so it shows that candle wax can easily be changed into liquid from a solid and from solid to a liquid it shows that this process is reversible reversible means that one things become change its state into another and again it reverse the process and again it changes its state to the previous one like you can take the example of water when we cool down the water it become ice and when we heat up the ice it again become the water when we put some water in the freezer of a refrigerator it will turn into ice and if we then warm ice it melts and changes back into the water so we can say that such type of changes are known as reversible changes why this reversible changes happen because of the temperatures when temperature changes then these changes may occur only a small amount of heat is needed to make candle wax melt and a small amount of cooling is needed to make the liquid wax solid again look at this picture you can see that there is a candle wax and it is uh, melting and that melting uh, wax is again becoming the solid and this process is happening very quickly if you light up a candle wax it start melting very soon and you can observe that the melted uh, molten is again becoming solid within a few second so we can say that this is also a reversible process because candle wax when we heat up the candle wax it become molten wax and this molten wax is again after cooling become solid form of the candle wax 
some things are those which have very low melting point means things are there that can be melt very easily like butter ice cream chocolate and candle wax you often observe that if you put butter uh, not in the fridge or then it start melting or if you are uh, eating ice cream and if you then you often observe that ice cream is melting very easily in a very low temperature the ice cream needed very low temperature to melt same is the case with chocolate and candle wax let's take the example of ice and water that what happens when ice and water changes into uh, irreversible reactions pure water becomes solid ice at a temperature of 0 degree celsius means pure water needs 0 degree celsius temperature to become solid or to become ice this is the water when it cools down at the temperature of 0 degree celsius it becomes solid but remember that other liquid freeze at different temperature every liquid needs some different temperature to change its state or to change from liquid to solid if a substance is not pure we have discussed about the pure water but if a substance is not pure the temperature at which it freezes or melts changes okay if we uh, salt is sprinkled on a snow or ice the salt lowers the temperature at which the snow or ice freezes the snow or ice turns to water and the weather has to be much colder before it freezes again it means that if we add salt on the snow or ice then the salt lowers the temperature that is required for the snow or ice to freeze look at this picture you can see that uh, in this picture salt is being sprinkled on the ice so because of this salt the temperature of the ice is lower and it needs some low temperature to become freeze mean it melt very soon in the second picture you can see that someone is sprinkling uh, salt on the snow on the road why because due to this salt the temperature of the snow becomes very uh, low and it start melting very soon and if Uh, that snow and ice turn into then because of this uh, salt the snow or ice turns into water and it needs higher temperature to become freeze again because the salt is there so dear student up till now in this uh, session or in this class we have discussed that solid turns into liquids and that process is known as melting and liquid turns into solids and that process is known as freezing and both melting and freezing are reversible process so it's time for your homework uh, what you have to do you have to do the reading of topic melting and freezing from page number 20 
and uh, your one minute talk uh, topic is honesty you have to prepare one minute talk on this topic and thank you so much for your time take care of yourself and have a nice day